Tips Friday. This week I'm going to show you how to introduce a horse to jumping. Now this could be a young horse that's never jumped a fence, an older horse that has never jumped a fence, only ever done flat work, or possibly a horse returning from injury or that's had a bit of a holiday from jumping. So the horse that I'm going to be showing you today has actually been jumping for a little while now. He's not particularly experienced but he's now jumping around a course of fences with fillers. So I started just simply with a pole on the ground between two wings and I had a whole course of fences like that. So just a pole, one pole between the wings, no cuts to make sure that you're nice and safe and equally all of my fences are built off nice open lines, they're not wedged in the corners. So once the horse was confident working around in canter a course of poles, I would start by building a couple of smaller fences like this. So you've got a cross pole. As you can see, there's a nice gap between the poles so that if the horse hits the fence, the pole simply rolls off and drops down rather than taking the whole jump with you and scaring the life out of your horse. As you can see, I've also got a ground line on either side of the cross pole. This is really important to give the horse a really clear takeoff point. If you don't have that, then the takeoff point can be a bit hard for the horse to judge and might make them feel a bit less comfortable about taking off over the fence. So this is Loki, he's seven year old. He's actually come in for some schooling and then to find a home. He um, has predominantly done a lot of dressage, so all of the things that I'm gonna show you today, I have been through with him over the last couple of weeks. He's now progressed to jumping a full course of fences, but equally, these are the exercises and the, the tips I'm gonna give you were how I showed him how to jump. So to start with, I'm going to give you guys a few things to be thinking about as you approach a fence for the first time. So when we're first jumping young horses, or equally teaching an older horse, or bringing a horse back in to work over a fence, start in trot. Give yourself the opportunity to have a little more control of the situation. If they do break into canter as you're approaching the fence, just stay balanced, go with them, don't suddenly take a pull and ask them to trot, but equally, if they then wiggle, keep your leg there to support them so that then you keep traveling up and over the fence. So a couple of things to be thinking about that you can be doing to help the horse is have nice wide hands, a little bit like you're driving a bus. And then if they are to wiggle, you're there to support the shoulder and correct it with your leg before your hand. So they go right, keep the hands wide, good boy, and give, put a little bit of outside leg on or your right leg on to push the body back straight in line between the steering wheel. Put my fence nice and early. Keep my eyes on the fence. Nice straight line, steady in the rhythm. Eyes up, good boy. Not too much pressure from me. Wide hand, eyes up. As you heard me mention there, I said that you've got to keep your eyes up looking over the fence. You want to show your horse the intention of getting to the other side. If we've got a spooky filler, for instance, if we stare at it, so will they. So keep your eyes up looking forward without tipping your body forwards and leaving yourself susceptible to being dropped onto the fence. So once you've got your horse confidently just trotting in, wobbling over, a little cross pole, we can set up a trot pole in, which will encourage them to then take off in canter over the pole, have half a step of canter between the pole and the fence, and then start jumping the fence from canter. Simple as that. So we've got the pole set up at two steps away from the fence. Now I don't know if you guys remember when we were walking distances before, we always say that it's two human steps for takeoff and landing. So as you can see, the horse would come in in trot, pick up over the pole, land here, and then you've got that space for the takeoff before the fence. So approaching in trot, wide hands, eyes up. Oh boy. So as you can see there, he just plopped into canter over the pole, half a step with that takeoff distance perfect for him, and he jumped the fence really nicely and cantered away. 
So for the first time for jumping, that would be a really positive way to finish. That is an important thing to remember, to always finish on a positive note, quit while you're ahead as such, and not over push your horse the first few times that you're jumping. Keep the fences small and keep them really confident. It will pay off in the end. So there you have it guys, Top Tips Friday, a how-to guide to introducing your horse back to jumping or to jumping for the first time. As I said, Loki is for sale, so if anybody's interested, please do send me a message and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.